Good day, good day to everyone listening, and welcome to another episode of The Ranter. Well, I've come up with one that I think uh, most of you may not like, or some of you will really hate this topic. So what am I going to talk about today? Rats. Yeah, you heard me right. I'm going to talk about rats. I have my iPod, my iPad out, and uh, I was like looking at some things about them, and my goodness, ugh, these things are nasty. They're gray in color, they're small, they run quickly. I don't have the speed of what they run yet. But I'll figure it out. And uh, so I went on to my famous little thing called Google. And I found out some things. So one of the questions they ask are um, rats dangerous? And then the uh, meaning or the reason for it is it is possible for rats to, for rats to transmit disease to humans. They can, can transmit disease if they bite or scratch humans. And also by leaving their droppings and urine around the home. Humans can also get sick when rats contaminate their food or run across countertops where food is later prepared oh that is bad imagine you're sleeping at night and uh, you wake up and you see droplings or you see urine and if you have kids or even uh, pets at home that is really dangerous you never know what can happen you don't want things to happen that is uh, one thing that i would not like one thing i would recommend is call the pest control company or if you want to save money uh, do it yourself uh, where I live, we had uh, some rat issues at one point, and the uh, thing that we did was we called a pest control company. The gentleman came in, did his job, and we noticed that he wasn't wearing gloves. And we asked him, hey, how come you're not wearing gloves? So the reason for him not wearing gloves was because he wanted the scent of human to be on the poison, not the gloves. The material of the gloves will make the uh, smell of the poison less for the rats to be attracted to it. And let me tell you, he's done a good job because uh, it's been, I think, two years. We have we don't have rat problems. And we're really happy. Uh, we see, I see some around the neighborhood. It's normal. You'll see uh, uh, rodents around. But uh, inside the house, no way, man. Stay out. Stay out very, very far. Especially if there's kids. I feel bad for kids. If you have, like, a child, like, two, three years old, the first thing they want to do is they want to touch everything that they see. And you don't want them to get sick or even have to go to a hospital because of a rat and uh, their droppings or of anything that they leave behind. Uh, yeah, poison gets uh, gets a good one. Here's another one. This could be plagiarism, which I could understand, but I'm getting this from Google. So, uh, what are rats afraid of? So I learned something new today. So they're afraid of peppermint oil, oil castor oil, and uh, cinderella oil. All drive rats away. Use cotton balls soaked in these oils or just spread a little oil around where the rats are staying and they'll leave for less frigid uh, climates. It's pretty interesting. That's a good one. I never heard of that one. Peppermint oil, castor oil. See, this is what I mean. You create a podcast, you create an episode, then you even learn something just by simply reading little things here and there, which everybody can do. I uh, bring it here so that it can be fun, it can be enjoyable, and that I can talk about it as well. It, it makes it fun. I can be honestly tell you, you learn something, and I like that. Oh no, so that topic was what are rats afraid of? Let's see, let's see what this one says. Okay, so how can I keep rats away? Like I said, this is all on Google. You can find it, but it always makes it fun when somebody else mentions it as well. So on Google, the question is how can I keep rats away? And then they have, here are the eight steps you can, you can take to keep these rodents out of your home. Keep holes, cracks, and gaps. I'm guessing that's close. Fill holes, cracks, and gaps, fill, you gotta fill them. Uh, What's this one? Don't feed them, of course. But hey, we have food at home. What do you want us to do? You want us to, you got to put in containers, seal it most likely. So yeah, don't feed them. That's pretty good. Remove their habitat. I also understand. So this is an interesting one. Leaking pipes. You got to be very careful with that. That's a thing that they will uh, go for. They will drink the water. It makes them thirsty. Hey, I drink water. I drink my beer. I drink many things. So I drink my coffee. I drink my tea. That's the many things I mean. So then... For you to have, keep them away, you might as well like uh, prepare your uh, pipes, make sure they don't leak. What's another one? Uh, trim trees, shrubs, and limbs back four feet from your home. Yeah, sat traps inside. Eesh. This one, <laughs> yuck. Set traps inside. That is gross. Well, let me explain, <laughs> or I have some fun with this one. So my dad has passed away, but when I was younger, in my home where I am now. There was a rat problem, mice problem. And he loved to have these wooden snap traps. And my goodness, they like one time at night that you're sitting going, stop, 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 stop. 
and uh, before you know it, it was a whole bunch of them. And I was sitting watching TV and getting ready for school. And sure enough, he comes with one right near my face. That scared the baloney out of me. No, thank you. Use baits and poisons outside. This one, I've, uh, many people see pest control use it. They uh, put it in a black little container. And have, there's like a block of poison inside. Rat eats it, dies somewhere else. The best thing also, if you have kids, protect your kids, protect your family members, even pets. Pets are suspicious, we all know that. They're gonna go and go and feed or they're gonna see and wanna taste it. Gotta be careful with that one. So yeah, use baits and poisons outside. Check your neighborhood, I can see that. And then yeah, number eight, I've mentioned it, call the pros. Pros know it all. Well, sometimes, not all the time, but they know it all. And they know what they're doing, they gotta do it right away, so that's an interesting one. This is an interesting topic, that's for sure. You get a lot of things about rats and uh, what they can do, how you can kill them. I'm not talking about that one, that one's too violent and if there's children listening or in the background or even nearby, I'm not going to talk about that one, no way. Will rats come, come, come out if the lights are on? No, I don't think so. They're uh, nocturnal, they only come as during the, uh, the night. But sometimes, yeah, to be honest with you, as soon as you turn on the light, and I've seen this, they, uh, they run away to something dark, they're nocturnal. Yeah, they're like uh, almost like the pet raccoon from outside who likes to have dinner from the garbage cans. He, they will come out. Their night shift is, I think, what? So if you go to bed around ten, if somebody wakes up around four thirty, five o'clock to go to work, yeah, it's around that time. That's their uh, little uh, night shift. I believe they're nocturnal. That's my opinion because I only see them at night. But if you turn on the light, they come out quickly, and they're active during the night. From past experience, when I was younger. And you hear those snap traps going, eh, yeah, pretty much at night. But what can you do? You try your best and you see what, what happens, what not happens. Yeah, uh, yeah, cover all your holes, that's for sure. Cover the holes in your property. That's the best thing. Uh, keep uh, things away. Keep things sealed as much as you possibly can. Uh, set traps. It's pretty, pretty bad. I don't really like it. But yeah, setting traps is a good thing. Uh, they get rid of the rodents, uh, setting poisons, make sure that the poison is covered so then no children access it. And even if you have pets, they're very, oh, I need to see what this is. You don't want that. So that's my rant for today. It's not the best of topics, or the rat topic. Blech, blech. Rodents, no thank you. Don't like them, don't really care for them. If I see them, eh. let's just say I jump on my feet and the, the hairs on the back of my back will go up. But yeah, that, that was my rant for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thank you very much. And I say it all the time. Thank you very much for taking the day, the time out of your day to listen to my rant. I really appreciate it once again. And I always do this. And I've never been clarified with this with you. And I'll be honest what it is. So when I disclose my email, the reason for it is, so for example, if you have a product or if you have a topic that you want me to cover, I will do it for you. I will do the research as long as it's simple and I can get some little things here and there and start talking about it, I will do it. So here's my email, theranter2020 at gmail.com. I said it before, in the, uh, like near the end of the episode, I'll say it again. Thank you for listening to my episode. I really appreciate it. Have yourselves an awesome day.